Hey, good evening YouTube, it's Brew by Me. How y'all doing? Good, I hope. Anyways, I'm gonna start off a couple, uh, with a couple beer reviews tonight. Um, tonight I'm gonna be reviewing a beer, it's only the second beer I've ever had from this company. So, let's see how it goes. So tonight I'll be reviewing Innocent Gun Original Oak Aged Beer. Um, it's been aged for 77 days. Um, smooth Scottish beer with hints of toffee, vanilla, and oak. Um, it's a 6.6% .6 ABV beer. I'm going to use my Innocent Gun glass as well. Standard cap. Beer by me. So the next round of beers I'll be doing obviously is the Innocent Gun. I don't know how many I have. I got a lot. So uh, we'll go. So anyways, it's like a, a dark golden in color. Lots of carbonation. You guys can see that as I can see it. There's about a finger ahead there. It's small to medium bubbles. It's perfectly clear. You can see through it. Let's give it a smell. It smells like a beer. Some nice malt there. There's some hints of oak. Slight bit, slight bits of toffee and caramel. Very, very faint bit of bitterness. It smells pretty good. Let's give her a go. The head's died off completely now. Three hundred and thirty mil. Got the head back. All right. So, as you dive into this beer, it's their original. Um, on the forefront, you get a nice sweet maltiness. As it rolls across your tongue, you kind of pick up the barrel. Um, characteristics of the oak, the vanilla, the toffee, the caramel. There's a slight bit of fruitiness there. Kind of like um, apple or pear. Light to medium body, medium carbonation. Um, it's actually a fairly refreshing 6.6% uh, ABV beer um, and an oak aged beer at that. Ah. <clears throat> There's nice characteristics there. Um, as I said, nice barrel characteristics vanilla, toffee, caramel, oak. Um, there's kind of like a little bit of fruity there, like I said, uh, apple pear. Um, a slight bit of floralness at the back. But all in all, each ship is fairly similar. Whereas the the oak um, and the malt are the um, 
the dominant um, flavor profile you pick up as it goes across your tongue. So, I must say, I can't wait to try the rest of the Innocent Gun products. Like I said, I really liked I think the review I did was the Innocent Gun Irish um, Cask Stout or something like that whiskey. It was the black one anyways, the first one they made. And that one was really good. This one is really good as well. Um, I have no complaints about it. Um, so, I'll sit back and uh, enjoy the rest of this one and uh, I'll go get another one. Um, the final thoughts, I'm going to say the malt profile is you've got some two row in there, some caramel crystal malts in there, maybe a slight bit of a biscuit malt. Um, obviously it's aged for 77 days on oak as it told you in the bottle so that incarnates your vanilla, your oak, your toffee, those kind of characteristics. It also says it on the bottle. Um, there is some stories on the back. I say it's a honey-hued beer matured over the finest oak heartwood to unlock natural flavors from deep within the oak grain. These luscious flavors of toffee, vanilla, and oak perfectly balance the beer's malt backbone. A light top fruitiness, like I said, its mellowness and depth of flavor makes it a great accomplishment to food like grilled seafood, juicy steaks, and mature cheeses. So there you have it. Um, it is a product of Scotland. Um, I don't know. Innocent Gun 6 Randolph Crescent Edinburgh E H three seven T H. So maybe that's the uh, um, the Canadian headquarters for this beer. Anyhow, there you have it, the uh, hop profile, your basic traditional, um, you know, hops, the uh, Halatar, Tetanog, or something like that. Um, so, an Innocent Gun, good job, it's a really good beer, thanks for it. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed the video, please rate, comment, subscribe, leave any comments or suggestions in the comments box, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, I'll be back later. Bye.